Williams and her Midway Panthers are having quite the season. Ranked as high as fourth at one point, Midway has a legitimate chance of going to state if the cards fall the right way. But that involves beating a really good Bryan team tonight in a winner take all game three. Midway gets true home field advantage for the game tonight up in Hewitt capacity. Crowd bottom first, no score. Macy pick a slow roller toward third. Play is made. It's not in time. She is safe with the infield single. Runner on first and second for Shelby Smith. This is another one to the second baseman, but then the overthrow at first. She's safe, and it's enough to bring Kelsey Mathis home. Midway strikes first, one nothing. Wouldn't last long. Top of the second, two on for Jessica Adams, who hits a moonshot to right field. A three-run home run puts the Vikings up. 3-1 is your final. Brian advances at UMHB. Troy and Lorena, game one district rivals. In the fifth, Madison Mazarek hits a fly ball to right that drops. Trinity Williams scores from second. Five zip Lorena at that point. Next pitch, Kelsey Ricard dinks one off the pitcher's glove. That's good enough for a run. Six zip Lorena at that point. 8-5 is the final. Lady Leopards take game one. Game two tomorrow back at UMHB. Baseball, Midway, Rockwall, game two. Panthers need a win to keep the season alive. Top third, no score. Jeremiah Arnett pitches. Tyler Rollins diving. Or hits one to right. Gabe Watson tries to dive. Missed times it, though. That is a double for Rockwall. Tate Sloan at the plate. That ball is into shallow right enough to send Andrew Tellia home. He's safe. Sloan is on first. That's an RBI single. one nothing. Rockwall. That's your final. Midway season comes to an end. Finally, to Salado for Cameron and Lorena in the second round. We are tied at one in the sixth. And on a bloop pop-up, Tracer Lopez. Da -na -na, da -na -na, flashes the leather. That's the second out and a Sports Center top 10 nominee. Bottom half, Dylan Aiken lays down a bunt as Lopez turns on the Jets going home. The throw isn't in time. Yo takes the lead. Cameron takes game one, 3-2. Game two back in Salado tomorrow afternoon.